I love to see videos like this because it shows the honor, the compassion, and the respect that a lot of us men and women have for each other instead of what the media try to push and portray. Check this video out. Appreciation for you, you know, and I just want you to know, you know, words can't express again, you know, so keep your eyes closed. Open up. Wow. That's my appreciation right there. No. Oh. 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 Bro. So, this is epic. That's just my appreciation for you, man. Like I said, I know we talk, it's not even like long talks that we have, but I think we have. We see eye to eye, you know what I'm saying? So there ain't really much need to be said. But again, that's just, again, showing my appreciation, you know? You ain't too much in the world of that, you know? That's a dope ass video. Because it goes to show that a lot of us black men are mature and we are man first and we can react and move without emotion. Now you see in the video, the baby daddy is honoring and bigging up the man in the household that his children are staying. He's letting him know, man, I'm so glad that you the man you are because my kids, when I'm not in the household, they got you. They got a, they got a real man to look up to. They got a real man to watch, go to work, respect his mama, provide for the family. That's dope. You got to honor that. Sometimes we got to take our feelings and our emotions out of the relationship. Once the relationship is over, guess what? Now we need to grow up and say, how can I work with my baby mom? How can I work with the man that she's dealing with? Because let me say this, man. Why wouldn't you want to be friends and be cool and be cordial with a man that is around your kids 24 7 when you are not right why not get to know him why not say you know what man let's be adults and let's make sure that we raise these kids the correct way that's all we ask but a lot of us want to handle it in a foolish way Right. And that's why I love videos like this, because it shows the other side. Everybody ain't picking up guns. Everybody ain't fighting. Everybody ain't bashing each other on Facebook. Everybody's not arguing, you know, like 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 the media um, and a lot of these social sites try to portray. A lot of us are grown ups and we saying, man, listen, man, you a hell of a man, bro. And I love what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Anything, you know, that I can help on my end. Let me know. You know, instead of us killing each other, shooting at each other, down talking each other, having a problem with one another, let's start settling our differences like these two men did. I'm not saying everything might not be peachy and cream on the end, but guess what, though? When you got a hell of a man around your kids, you got to respect it because guess what? A lot of these women are going to get these piece of shit, man. And these type of dudes are around your kids, dudes who are selling heroin, crack, cocaine, gang banging, want to be thugs, want to be, just want to be everything other than being great. Right. So when you so when you see that, you got to say, oh, thank God that my baby mom didn't go get with a fool and I ain't got a fool in the same household as my son. Thank God that my son and my daughter can wake up and see what a man do and not what no little boy gangster do. You get what I'm saying? I'd rather have my son wake up in the morning and see his stepdad going to work, putting on his work boots, going to be a man to provide for the family instead of seeing my son wake up and seeing this nigga on the couch. He he got a red flag. He got a blue flag. He gang banging. He's selling dope. He got people in and out the house all all hours of the night. He's smoking tons of weed, cigarettes. He getting drunk. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, as man, we got to respect that and we got to honor that, man. And I just wanted to make this video because 
that shit is one of the dopest videos I've ever seen in my life. Because when we split up from these women, it don't always have to end in bloodshed. It don't always have to end in, you know, uh, uh, we mad at each other forever. and We can't be parents and work this shit out because at the end of the day, the only ones that suffer from it is the kids. While we playing all the games and shit, the kids are the ones suffering from it. And I think this video was very dope because it shows heart and it shows pride, right? And it shows integrity, man. And it shows respect, man. Love videos like this, man. So I want to say shout out to both of y'all, man. Shout out to both of y'all. And not only both of y'all, shout out to the woman. Because without that woman having a clear man and her stepping back and letting these two individuals get to know each other and stop the foolishness, right? That video could never came about. That video could never came about if you when you have a woman in the middle and she's trying to poison the man of the new boyfriend. Right. She got the boy. She's lying to the boyfriend. He's this. He's that. He's the enemy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? And then it ends in bloodshed or it ends with somebody getting severely hurt and somebody going to jail. So shout out to her. Also, y'all drop y'all comment. Y'all let us know what y'all feel about that video. That shit dope to us. We love videos like that. Let's keep that type of mentality going. I love y'all. Peace.